Hello, I am Johanna Manuel and this is my Sustainable City model. Okay, so before I go on about the sustainability of my city, I'm going to talk about the materials I used to make this. I mainly made this out of cardboard and paper. These buildings are basically tissue paper boxes that are covered in A4 size paper. When it came to the parkings, I ran out of tissue paper boxes, so I just decided to use simple cardboard and bended it to form that rectangular shape. I used paint and sketch pen to do the colors, and this dome, which uh, are, ac are actually triangular pieces of cardboard, which are hot glued together to form that nice dome shape. Now that's about it for the, uh, like the materials I used. Now I'm going to talk about the sustainability of my city. This dome shape, according to what you may think, is not a football field. It's an incinerator slash water treatment plant. What an incinerator does is, it takes all the waste, such as plastic waste, from around the city, burns it, and whatever steam is left, steam and air that's left from the burning crosses, is used to spin a turbine, which generates electricity and powers this entire city. The incinerator itself is powered by solar panels, and uh, the water treatment plant, it basically takes all the used water from the homes and treats it and reuses it to water all the greenery around the city and the green roofs. You may wonder, why are these roads colored? Well, they are not actually supposed to be colored roads, those are just representing things. The blue lines on the road represent closed water canals which take all the used water from the homes and the buildings to the water treatment plant. These red lines are cycleways, which people can use their bicycles to ride on. This actually reduces the number of cars on the road, and hence improves the traffic situation in the city. People will be encouraged to use public transport such as buses, etc., and use their own and walk around as well, like these two people over here. The buildings are also oriented in such a way. For example, this Silicon Valley, which is basically like an office, like a workplace, is very close to this apartment so then people can just cross the road and reach here. These are parkings which are around the city and these actually have inbuilt electric car fuels in there which uh, basically fuel up these electric cars and vehicles over here. The vehicles will be either electric or solar panel powered like this bus over here which has solar panels on it. These actually absorb light from the sun and convert it to electricity. This is a renewable form of energy, so it is very helpful for the environment as well. As you may have noticed, all the buildings in the city have green roofs. These are basically roofs with plants on them. These actually help us improve our footprint of greenery and helps absorb more carbon dioxide from the air, thus helping us get more cleaner air. You would have also seen this part in our city. It includes stuff like swing sets, slides, and even a swimming pool. This can be used to improve the brotherhood in our city and bring people together. You can see there's already a person on the slide. Hey there! We have many trees in our city as well. These are actually double benefit because one, they help us, they improve the air around our city by absorbing more carbon dioxide, and second, they also improve the traffic situation. Fun fact about trees, trees can actually prevent accidents. You know when you're driving at night and you have to switch on the headlights? Well, these headlights can sometimes cause a huge glare, a nasty glare, to the person in front of you, causing them to be, like, causing them to not see what's in front of them. This might cause them to jerk in the wrong direction or stop without warning, leading to accidents. Accidents are actually one of the main causes of traffic. These trees can actually reduce the glare, thus reducing accidents and traffic. Isn't that amazing? There you go. That is my sustainable city project. If you have any feedback or anything that could help make my city more sustainable, you can put that in the comment section below this post. You can also express your other opinions about how this project was, basically. And yeah, that's it. Peace.